Hey what's up creators, Virtus here and today we're going to be showing you how you can get beautiful lighting inside of Unreal Engine 5 in just 15 minutes. Unreal Engine 5 has just been released and so far we have seen some absolutely stunning results in the demos that we've seen so far. And all of this is down to the power of Lumen. With Lumen comes a whole bunch of benefits such as photorealistic lighting, reflections and significantly less time rendering. With that being said, in this video we're going to be showing you exactly how you can use all of this in your project for yourself. If you haven't done already, be sure to subscribe for more awesome free training just like this. But for now though, let's go ahead and start that timer and dive into Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so now that we're inside of Unreal Engine 5, let's very quickly break down exactly what you're going to be learning in this video today. First things first, you're going to be introduced to Unreal Engine 5's Lumen system and exactly what it can do in terms of dynamic global illumination, light bouncing, and how we can get objects to cast light as if they would in the real world. We're then going to be showing you how to set up your Lumen reflections for really detailed reflections that you can use in your scene. Lastly, we're also going to be introducing you to Convolution Bloom to make your emissives in your scene look really photorealistic and film-like. Having said all of that, it's going to be a really exciting class and I can't wait to show you all of this. Okay, so the very first thing that I need to do is introduce you to the concept of indirect lighting in Unreal Engine 5's Lumen. What this is going to do is essentially take our light from our light source and when it hits a surface, it's going to pick up color information and it's going to scatter it throughout the scene. What you're seeing right now is currently an example of direct lighting where the light hits the surface but then it doesn't light up the rest of the room like it would in the real world. So let me show you the difference in our scene here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select my directional light here and I'm going to adjust my indirect lighting intensity and I'm going to set this to 10. And what you're going to see there straight away is the light is going to come through the window, it's going to bounce off of the floor, off the walls, and then it's going to scatter throughout the room and it's going to naturally light our scene. And with this, we just have two lights in this scene. We've got the directional light, which is outside of the room, and then we've also got this little lamp here in the corner, but this isn't very significant. But the main thing is, just like you would in the real world, we have just got one light which is going to light up our scene. This is our indirect lighting. The most important thing about this indirect lighting is this is totally dynamic. We can change this on the go and there's no need to build our lighting. Having said that, let's go ahead and show you how you can enable Lumen so you can use this for yourself. For the purpose of this demo, we're going to be using the architecture sample which has been put together by Epic Games and is freely available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Once we've got this up, what we're going to see is we've got our scene, and this scene was built in Unreal Engine 4 with all of the lighting methods available there. And quite frankly, if you take a look at this scene, it looks a little bit messy because we've got so many shadows and the reason for that is simply because we do not have that indirect lighting in here. We are having to rely on a re rectangular light for each of these windows here. And if we look at our objects, we have just got shadows for days here. Having said that, let's go ahead and show you how you can enable Lumen. To do this, we need to go up to our project settings. Go to edit, project settings, and then we're going to be searching for free things. The very first setting we're looking for is Generate Mesh Distance Fields. So to find this, just go ahead and move over to the search box at the top here and type in Generate Mesh Distance Fields and you're going to be able to find this under Software Ray Tracing. Go ahead and set this to True. Once we've done this, the next thing that we're going to be doing is we are going to be searching for our global illumination because we need to tell the engine to use Lumen for our global illumination method. So we can see this if we type in global, go down to engine rendering and global illumination, we can see we can set this to Lumen. And if you do this, it's going to automatically enable our Lumen reflections for us. What we do want to do though, just as a very quick sanity check, is we also want to type in our reflections and just confirm that that change has gone through. 
So if I search for reflections, go down to engine rendering reflection method, I can see this is set to lumen. With this done, we now need to just restart the engine and we're good to go. Okay, so now that Lumen is enabled in our project, let's go ahead and implement it into our scene. And it could not be simpler. The way we're going to do this is by going over to our post-processing volume, and we're going to be setting it in here, as this is a post-processing effect. If you haven't got a post-processing volume already, you can create one by going up to quickly add, volumes, and then post-processing volume. Because we've got one in this scene already, all I need to do to enable this is to go to my post-processing volume, and then we are going to scroll down, and we're going to go to our global illumination. We're then going to set this to lumen. We're going to give it a couple of seconds, and you're going to see already we've got some really nice changes there. For our reflections, again, we can also just enable this. So go ahead and turn that on. With that done, we are ready to go. So to see this better, what we're going to do is in our scene, we're just going to remove any of these rectangular lights that we've got in our window as we're just not going to need them anymore. And you should have approximately six of these. So I'm going to go ahead and delete those. And what you should end up with is a scene which is quite dark looking like this. Now to get this light bouncing, we just need to go into our directional light and change a couple of settings. The first of which is we need to make sure our light is set to dynamic or movable as Unreal Engine calls it, as all of this is dynamic stuff which is going on here. Then the big setting that we change here is our indirect lighting intensity. This is the most important. This is going to control how many times our light is going to bounce throughout our scene. We can see here by default it's currently set to one. If I was to set this up to a higher number, like 5, you can see more light bouncing is going to occur, and as you can see, our scene gets brighter. But with this, the important thing about this is our lighting is actually going to be picking up the colors from the environment and then scattering that throughout the scene. And if I was to go ahead and set that to a value like 10 or 20 to really up the ante with this, we can really see this light is picking up those browns and those warmer tones that we've got in our scene here. Also, if I was to go ahead and adjust my temperature here, you can see it's going to change what that reflected light looks like. So it's going to copy not only the colors in your environment, it's also going to be taking the initial color of the light too. And now because we've just got this one simple light, I can very quickly change the overall look of this scene to get something which looks really realistic. And already, if I press G to go into my game view mode here, we can see just how much better this is. There's no really intimidating shadows or anything like that. That is how we can use Lumen to achieve some really nice lighting. With this, there is a couple of settings that we can change regarding the quality of this global illumination, and that is the indirect lighting that I mentioned. But what we also have inside of this is we've also got our final gather quality, which is going to allow us to change how the quality of this is going to look. If you're working on a real-time experience, I do advise you leave this set to one. If you're working on like a still or something like this, you might want to set it up to a value like four to make sure we don't have any sort of odd, uh, odd sort of edges or smudges in our shadows or anything like that. But for one, that should be totally okay and it really is that straightforward. So having said that, what I want you to do now is play around with your indirect lighting, utilize it in other scenes, utilize it in this scene, and you're very quickly going to be able to get realistic lighting by lighting things in the way you would in the real world. Having said that, the next thing that I want to introduce you to in terms of our lumen lighting is the fact that emissive objects are actually going to cast light into your scene, just like they would in the real world. Let's go ahead and test this by creating a brand new material. And with this material, I'm simply going to give it a very simple emissive color. To do that, I've got this material, I'm gonna add a constant free vector, and I'm just gonna put that into my emissive color. 
and then with this constant, I'm simply going to set the red value to 500 and the green and the blue to zero. So we've got a big, bright red light here. And I'm going to press apply. If I now add a basic cube by going to shapes and then cube and adding this into my scene, what we're going to be able to see pretty much straight away is as soon as we add this material on with the emissive, because right now it's not glowing, as soon as we add that on, it's actually casting light into our scene. And with this, again, we do not need to bake any kind of lighting at all. This is absolutely game changing. In Unreal Engine 4, if we are using indirect lighting, it has to be baked in, and it just does not look as good as it would with Lumen. And also, for getting objects to cast light, again, we have to bake them. But with this, we can move this, and we can see our light is going to follow along our scene here. So if you have lights in your scene and you want them to look really good, simply turn that emissive color up and let them light your scene. That is all we need to do. So having said that, have a little experiment with that and have a play around. The last thing that I want to show you with your Lumen is how to enable your Lumen reflections and the differences in quality and the way that they work. And again, this is really straightforward. To do this, what we're going to do is just go over to our post-processing volume. Now, with this, let's take a look at the different quality of our reflections here. So, right now we've got Lumen on, and if we were to go into this television screen, we can see we've got some really detailed reflections here. And the same goes for this vase, for the flowers over here, they look really detailed. Let's go back to screen space reflections, like what was on there before in Unreal Engine 4. Quite frankly, they do not look that great, the colour isn't really there, and most importantly, screen space reflections actually rely on a reflection capture actor like this one. And with these reflection capture actors, they are not going to be dynamic, so if we move objects, that movement is not actually going to be picked up by that reflection. With our Lumen reflections, because it's tied into our global illumination, wherever the light goes, it's going to start generating reflection data for us. So let's just take a look at this television screen here. Right now, there's not really any detail in there. We've just kind of got the light in the windows. Let's delete this reflection capture actor and then as you can see, there is nothing there now. That's because those normal reflections rely on that. If I go down and set my reflections method to Lumen, you can see without any reflection capture actors, we can see we've got some really nice, accurate reflections there. It really is as simple as that. So I encourage you to use these Lumen reflections in your scene for yourself. Again, you can adjust the quality and the mode of these reflections to really refine the look. Out of the box, however, you should be able to get some really good results with our quality setting to 1 and using our default ray lighting mode. Feel free to turn that up as high as you like. That's it for Lumen. By now, you should be in a really good point where you can use this to create some really awesome content. The last thing that I wanted to show you was an introduction to Convolution Bloom. It's a post-processing effect which is going to allow you to get some really cinematic style look to your scene. So if I was to go over to my post-processing volume and set this Bloom setting to Convolution versus Standard, so we'll set it at Standard at first, and you can see everything is a little bit blown out here and it doesn't look that great. And especially if we look at the window. If we set this method to convolution, you can see this is going to look a lot better, especially on our highlights like this. So take a look at the screen. We've got some nice image effects here, really, cin cin really cinematic image effects. Changes to standard, quite blown out, really, really overexposed. 
changes to convolution and we get this really, really nice effect. And we can use this to make our scenes look absolutely stunning. By now you should be in a good place where you're comfortable using Unreal Engine 5's Lumen lighting system. And by now you should also have some really fantastic lighting utilizing dynamic global illumination. I'd love to see the work that you've created. Having said that, be sure to go ahead and join our Discord server, the links for which are in the description. Showcase your work, get some feedback and meet other like-minded developers just like yourself. If you'd like to support more awesome free training just like this, go ahead and check out our Patreon page where you're going to be able to unlock exclusive perks to help you along your way to learning Unreal Engine 5. That's it for this video, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That's it though, stay awesome, keep creating, Virtus signing out.